in the past six months I have sold and gave lots of Zoos CRM for real estate agent packages to different agents and brokers. And on the way I collected lots of value feedback from them. And of course, I upgraded the system and this is version 2. In this session, I'm going to show you only the updates. I'm not going to go over the entire system, of course, on the description below. I will give you a link to the rest of the videos if you want to see the previous videos. But this is going to be only the update of what we added to the ZO CRM for real estate agent package. First of all, when you will go to an opportunity or a deal, you will see that you have different lookup fields. If you over the lookup field, you will see that you get more information. In the past, you got only the account owner, but right now you will see that you have the name of the person, his picture, you're getting the phone number, you're getting annual revenue, whatever it is. We can change this business card to be whatever you want, but we have more information. Same thing for the contact name. We also, we over Tom Cruise and we get his picture, we're getting more details. So it's more convenient and easy. Also, when you go and you try to create a new contact, you will see that you're getting more fields, which means in advance, I can create a new contact and ask for more information. You can create the opportunity, create the contact, and everything from one place. One cool feature that we added, and that was a request by lots and lots of agents, is the home services. Sometimes you will sell a house, and the house will have some things that need to be upgraded or repaired. Some agents will give some phone numbers to their clients and will tell them, best of luck, find your own way and make it happen. And that's, of course, a very low kind of service. There are some agents that will look around for the right professionals, they will get quotations from them, and they will present it to the client. And, of course, the client can deal directly with the service providers. So that's one more option. Another option is agents that actually are working as project managers which means they will get the requirements, they will arrange the different contractors, and they will manage the project for the client. And that can be with a commission or no commission, whatever it is. But all those options are there. The main problem is that the disinformation, the proposal that you got, supposed to be in the system. They're supposed to be in your CRM. Okay, so this module was created for this case. Let's assume that I am creating a new uh, project. So I will go one, to one of my opportunities. It will save me some clicking time. And I will click here on Home Services. And the contact, let's say it will be Tom Cruise. The subject will be fixing the roof and floors. And what's going on with me today? Okay. And the very vendor name will be the dude, and the dude is the dude, and he's fixing stuff. And now I will go here and select the different items. So I will go here and I will write flooring. And as you can see, the system is already pre populating the different home services for me, which I uploaded for you in advance. And I will have one flooring and I will click on add new line and I will add also, I have roof fixing uh, and it's a roof ring repair. And now I have those two services in place. I will provide 2000, that's what I got from the vendor, 2000 for the flooring and I got 500 for the repair. The taxation on it, it's, let's say, 13%. As, an, and you, as you know, you can change the taxes as you want. And now I have the quotation for the client. I also added a few more features here. Uh, one feature is in case that some of the products will need to be shipped. 
So I added here a, a shipping option and of course a different address for shipping. One address is the, the house address and the other one will be the address for the shipping. Another option that was added to the system was the project and properties. There are some people that are, are outside of North America and they don't have a way to manage properties. So the system can help them in that way. Some people in North America and outside will get a project, let's say selling a building with 200 different units. You need a way to manage it because it will not be on MLS or Realtor, whatever it is. You will need to have your own inventory. In that case, you can create a new project and the project can have multiple properties. And every time that I will add more properties, that will be, let's say, unit 22. Every time that I will have more properties, they will be added to the project, which means the project is one crosstown condos. And now you can see that I have here more properties. And of course, I can have here different details based on what I want. And you will see them here. Now, one more thing that I have in the properties, you will see that you have the different property details where it is and you have lots and lots of options as part of the property details you also have the different assets for example if you have a video for for this unit if you have some pictures if you have an online profile if there is a map and of course we can add more and more fields but the bottom line is you can have multiple properties assigned to a project that that will be the majority of the cases or you will have properties because you don't have realtor or mls you don't have a way to manage properties so this module will give you this ability to have multiple properties that you can manage and let's assume that i want to uh i want to show properties for a client I can go to the reports, I have created a properties report and whenever I will go here, for example, this is specifically a house for one of my clients because I already created the criteria in the filters. You can see that the price for this client is between 500 to 1.5 million and the city must be Richmond Hill. And now when I'm running the report, it will show me all the properties that matching this criteria. The properties are in Richmond Hill and the house price is between 500 to 1.5 million. And now I can do a showing for the client. So that's, that's, that's an option that I also added to the system. That's it. That's the update. I hope that you, you like those new features. I think that they are very, very cool and you will be able to provide more value to your clients. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the session, as always, thumbs up. I will really appreciate positive feedback. If you have any questions, comments, even if you want more additions, write them in the comments. I will be more than happy to help you and upgrade the system to version 3. If you don't have the system already and you do want to have it on the bottom in the description, I added the link, you can check all the features and the videos of the product and you can also buy the package from that page. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next session.